If you're the type of person who wants to tell a story, whether that's through a short story, a comic book, or a tabletop gaming adventure, well, you've probably struggled with the desire for originality. That's right, I said the desire for, not the lack of originality. In 1929, Wallace Nodestein said, if you copy from one book, that's plagiarism. If you copy from many books, that's research. So many people get hung up on the idea that their stories have to be completely original, that it has to be something that their audiences have never seen before. If it's not completely original, they think, well, my audience will think I'm a hack, or that this story sucks, and that's just not true. So let me put your mind to rest right now, and I want you to take this to heart. Nobody cares how original your story is as long as it is fun and engaging. All of your favorite stories and movies are based on bits and pieces of the stories and movies that have come before them. These fantastic authors and filmmakers and creators, they're standing on the shoulders of giants. They've seen what works and they've seen what doesn't, and they've taken the best bits and they've repurposed it for their own creations. And that's what you have to do. This tradition of taking things that were created a long time ago and using them to your own ends, this goes back thousands of years probably even more than that. The oldest piece of recorded literature that we have is the Epic of Gilgamesh that was written in 2100 BC. The author of that, he probably had his own inspirations that predated him by who knows how long. Now, that's obviously not something that I can prove, but I think I'm right. In a 1992 interview with the New York Times, Cormac McCarthy said, the ugly truth is, books are made out of books. Francis Ford Coppola, he said, you can't actually steal. You can take what I've done and interpret it in your own way, and that's how you find your voice. That's how you find your voice. This is the guy that made Apocalypse Now, one of the most highly regarded war movies of all time. He took heavy inspiration from a book called Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. Even this amazing cinematic achievement wasn't entirely original. One more from Jim Jarmusch. He said, steal from anywhere, but steal only what speaks to your soul. Originality is non-existent. Authenticity is invaluable. And that's really the crux of all of this, authenticity. You can't just take something wholesale from somebody else's novel or somebody else's adventure setting and slap it into your own without any form of adaptation. So, for example, you can't just take Batman out of Gotham and slap him into a fantasy setting. He's still Batman, and he's not authentic in your story. But what you can do is you can create your own brooding hero that fights injustice with the use of, you know, all sorts of gadgets and inventions and potions and whatnot, and eventually you come up with The Witcher. I want to give you a couple of other examples as they relate strictly to Dungeons & Dragons because, you know, that's why we're here. The first example is going to be really close to home here at Lunch Break Heroes, and the second example is going to be something that you're all a bit more familiar with. Now, here at Lunch Break Heroes, we're starting to create our own adventure for a, a challenge, a monthly challenge for the D&D Tubers subreddit. Now, what we did is we started players out in this, you know, this wide boulevard that is surrounded by steep cliffs, and in front of them is a guard tower with a gate in between it, and it spans the entire road, blocking their way. Now, all of this is a fairly mundane concept in terms of military fortifications, but this is a direct inspiration from the Bloody Gate from Game of Thrones. We knew the kind of aesthetic and the functionality that we wanted, so we lifted it out of its original setting and we repurposed it for our own. Beyond those gates, the players are going to enter into a ruined dwarven city slash mine, and they're going to come into this big forge area with lots of disused forge equipment and stuff like that, and if you've ever seen the Hobbit movies, you can kind of guess what this is going to look like. We might even have a dragon in there too. In fact, that's part of the challenge. So who knows, that might be where the dragon fight goes. We might decide something else we're not done yet. But that's just my example. And you might be thinking, oh, these guys are just hack storytellers and adventure creators, and you're not wrong. But let's take a look at another example that's a bit more official and professional, and something that you might have already had experience with, Curse of Strahd. In Curse of Strahd, there's very little of anything that's truly original, and anything that I, I view as original is probably stolen from a source that I just don't recognize. Now let's start off with the obvious here. Strahd is Dracula, that's just a given. Van Richten is Van Helsing. 
Irina is just Mina Harker on repeat, the Vistani are gypsies, of course, and Baba Lazaga isn't even trying not to be Baba Yaga. So what am I getting at by pointing all of that out? Simply this, even one of the most well done and highest selling official modules isn't completely original. It doesn't tell an original story, it takes a lot of other bits and pieces from other stories and puts them together in a fantastic and original way. Now let's turn the story back to you. Does all of this mean that you can retell the stories of Dracula and Star Wars wholesale? Absolutely not. But what you can do is take Dracula and put him in the Star Wars universe, or vice versa, change some names, change a few attributes, and bing bada boom, you've got your own original story. In fact, you've got a story that I kind of want to play. That sounds awesome. So don't worry about being original. Forget it. Borrow. Adapt. Steal. Steal like your story depends on it, because you know what? It just might. While you're here, I want you to check out a fellow creator of mine, Basics for Gamers. He's been creating a lot of wonderful introductory videos for Dungeons and & Dragons and Starfinder. If you want to know the rules of these games and you want to get a nice, very easy to follow but still in-depth explanation, he's the guy to check out. So head on over there, subscribe to him, I'm sure he'd love to see you. If you like this video and you think we deserve it, click the like and subscribe button down below. We want to grow this channel and we want you to come with us on that journey. So go ahead and follow us on Twitter, follow us on Reddit, do whatever speaks to you. We want you to come with us and enjoy this content as we create it. So we'll see you back here next time. Keep on rolling.